really fantastic Christmas. I really do. And thank you so much to everybody wishing me nice Christmas wishes and stuff. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I did have a very nice Christmas, apart from being... I got slightly stuck with my back. You know, I have problems with my back. And I got slightly stuck on a chair. And at the end of the night, I had to have my mum and Mark take me upstairs to bed and get me ready for bed and such like. So apart from that, it was a very good Christmas. I do have a doctor's appointment coming up on... I'm rambling again never mind I'm not even going to apologize I'm just going to keep going this is probably going to be a long video um yeah I've got a doctor's appointment the day after my birthday so on the 9th of January I'm going to the doctor so hopefully we'll get to the bottom of this back situation because it is driving me crazy apart from that I did have a really really lovely Christmas my brother was here from London and it was just really really nice and today's video is going to be uh what I got for Christmas someone suggested I do this I watched a couple of like what I got for Christmas videos and I noticed that everyone always starts out by saying I'm just going to say right now disclaimer I'm not bragging well you guys know I'm not a bragging type person that's not what I'm about I'm just here to share with you and I speak to you like you're my friends as if you were in my house and I was talking to you so if you come in my house and we're like oh what did you get for Christmas I wouldn't be like hold on disclaimer I'm not bragging I got that you know what I mean so I'm just sharing with you the way I would share with friends that is what I'm doing I'm just sharing with friends so there we go well I suppose that was a sort of disclaimer but anyway never mind I'm going to jump right in I'm going to try not to spend too long talking about each thing because I've got quite a lot of little things so I'm just going to keep going back I'm looking at the stuff just now and I'm thinking you know me I do ramble and it's probably going to be a very long video so let's get started First thing, I'm not going to say who's from what, like who got me what and stuff. I'll just show you everything that I got. First thing I got was this, mon that is very shiny, Monsoon gift set. I'll take off the lid and show you. If you hear noises in the background, Alexander's like playing with toys and running about like crazy. So any noises, that's what it is. This is a Monsoon gift set. It's got in it um, bath and shower cream, moisturising body cream and a little bottle of perfume there it smells quite nice I don't really wear an awful lot of perfume but it does smell quite nice so first thing I got is that done we'll just put the lid in I've got a big bag at the side of me to put everything in I'm trying to get organized and get the place tidied up it honestly is crazy there's just boxes and toys and everything everywhere so trying to get back on track with that so bag beside me so I can just put the stuff straight and I don't want to add to the mess Next thing I got are these. I absolutely love slippers. Got a slipper collection. These are memory foam slippers and it says ultra soft cut. There we go. I'm just reading all from labels and stuff. I could have just said slippers and put them in, but long video. It's going to be a long video. They're machine washable. They contour to your feet. They are memory foam slippers. They're in this fluffy, very, very pale pink. They're so soft and they feel like really, really squidgy. Like they'll be really comfortable. So absolutely love them. And along the comfort sort of snuggly type thing, I got two pairs of snuggle socks, one in cream and one in this sort of pink, multi-coloured pink, light pink and dark pink and cream sort of colour like that. Super squishy, two pairs, love them. I love getting fluffy socks for Christmas, absolutely love them. My daughter has got a really bad habit of stealing them, so I may have to thank them. Next thing I got is this, it's called a Summer Meadow a Decorative Glassware Oval Bowl. And this is really pretty, I should probably take this out the box to show you but hold on there we go it is really really pretty everything is glaring really badly it's just got these lovely pink flowers in them so it's like pink and green and what is just really lovely really pretty nice little trinket dish i think i'm going to sit this beside my bed just to like put my jewelry in when i take it off i think that's just really pretty so got that and another thing I got is one of these. Absolutely love these. I've actually worn these, so I've like taken the tags off. I've worn these, worn this. It's one of those things with the bow on it that you put on for like putting your makeup on or if you're like cleaning your face. I literally wear these just around the house doing my housework. I just wear them all the time. It's super snuggly and it's blue with polka dots. Love that. And another little thing, just because we go through so many headphones in this house, I got these little pair of froggy headphones like this. And I love cartoon frogs, like absolutely love these kind of like little cutesy frogs. Real frogs are kind of okay, but it's like cartoony frogs that I really love. Just thought these were so cute, so little earphones. And these came, like I had a whole load of things in the basket, so the basket came with it. So I suppose I got that for Christmas as well. I'm going to show you this. I love this. Like, literally love this. It is so weird. I just, I love it. Like, it's going to be so awkward to show you. It's got a hood. Inside the hood is pink. Inside the hood is cream. I'm going to, I'm doing my best to show you. Look. It's like a duffel coat type thing. It zips up. 
and it's got these duffel buttons on it like this I love this I literally look like the Easter Bunny when I wear this it's got big pockets at the front it's just so snuggly it's like a teddy bear jacket I just love it I just I feel like the Easter Bunny when I wear it it's just gorgeous I absolutely love it it's really unusual I don't know where let me see who it's from it's by the brand Me Jane and it says designed in New York I don't know I just think it is really lovely and it is so honestly soft and snuggly and cosy and it is in this baby I don't know if it's coming across it's coming across slightly paler it's a little bit more pink in real life I just love it I'm absolutely in love with this just love it to bits love it next thing I got were these I don't know what you call them like they're not basketball boots right like you know what I'm talking about like plum solely type things but they're like leathery kind of effect and then they've got the snake skin here what brand are you let me see i am not going to be able to pronounce it lulu cast castagnet i don't know i'll show you there we go there's the brand there they look like this i really like these i think these would be really cute with a pair of leggings and like a big baggy jumper really like these love them now i got another pair of shoes that are just like oh lovely this i got this hold on out of breath again sorry um yeah this i got from my mum we were actually in the shop and i saw this and my mum said oh i really like that i said oh i really like that as well so i took it off the shelf i said right i'm buying you it she said no i'm buying you it to which we then had to struggle in the shop trying to like wrestle it off each other because she was buying it for me i was buying it for her there was a woman standing in the aisle killing her she said I, I'm, I'm just laughing at the two of you like you're just you're cracking me up and we proceeded to fight over this thing and then I realised there was another one in the same size so we basically, my mum and I both own this because I bought one to give to her and she bought one to give to me so we both own this now it is this, again, so awkward to show you it's like a dressing gown but it's not a dressing gown doesn't have buttons, doesn't have a zip, doesn't have a belt it's like a waterfall cardigan but it's a dressing gown I'm sure there's a picture, yes there's a picture of the nice little lady here wearing it for you and then you'll be able to see exactly what it looks like without me trying to do a ridiculous job of showing you looks like this, it's grey in colour again, so so soft it's not too too thick like you're going to be too hot but it's not too thin, it is just absolutely perfect I love it, I would probably wear this as a cardigan out I just, I love it, like I'm in love with it super soft i can see me wearing this as a house cardigan all the time i do tend to wear cardigans in the house more than dressing gowns just because like the bell and th and i have this really weird thing that as soon as you put a dressing gown on i feel lazy like i don't want to do anything like once that dressing gown's on i'm like i'm lounging i'm not doing anything so a cardigan i feel more like i'm willing to get up and maybe do activities and do stuff so i tend to work hard against more than dressing gowns. so this is absolutely perfect for me so love that how long is this video already eight minutes let me see we may not be too bad we might not be too bad might not be as long as i thought this is a weird one but probably one of my very favorites this is just so unusual i was in the shop with my mom when she saw this and i fell in love with it and she picked it up and got it for me that's what happens when, because my mom and i did most of our christmas shopping together it's got this clear like acrylic handle it is this little like really thick cardboardy type box thing it's got these little animals all over them let me see a raccoon a little bear an owl a fox a frog a bunny and it's just so cute i'll open it up and show you it opens up with a little latch there oh just realized that there's another little present inside it it opens up and it's mint green on the inside and i i love it i don't know why it's very like i don't know you could imagine it like in a child's room or something but you know i'm a big kid i just i don't know why i love it so much but i do i absolutely love it so there's that and inside that little box was this little notebook and it's just a little line notebook and it's got little roses all over it it's very very pretty just really like it write notes and lists and stuff for everything so love that and next thing is this this is called skinny tan i don't know if you've heard of this it's like the big thing i think it's been for a little while now but it's like quite a new kind of thing i think my mum was telling me all about this it looks like this it's called skinny tan it's basically a fake tanner type thing i'll probably go into more detail about this i think what i'd like to do is maybe do start doing favorites again i started them said i was going to do them every week realized that 
every week was probably too often to do them so I think I will do a favourites but not like every month just whenever I gather some stuff together that I'm really liking I don't want to be like looking for stuff just to put in favourites but like when I'm thinking to myself oh I'm really liking that I'll put it aside and show you it so that because I show you stuff that I'm buying but I'm not really telling you if I'm liking it or not so I may try this out and this may go in a favourites and I'll go into a little bit more detail but basically it's a new fake tan type thing it's very very good there's more details on it like I said I'll try it out and get back to you and let you know exactly what I think of it so fake tan next thing I got and that is the end of that is me emptied out one little bag is this oh my goodness this is going to glare like crazy it is this I'm trying to show you in a way that is easy it is it, it's all fingerprints it's it looks like an antique mirrored box that's what it looks like and it's got detail on it like this that looks like it's like all kind of old and antique and on the inside it is white and then the bottom bit is mirrored in it as well it is just so pretty it's got these lovely pretty ornate little feet on it I just think it's absolutely gorgeous I think it's beautiful I'm not sure where it's going to sit yet but it's definitely going to sit out somewhere in my house and it really is covered in fingerprints like that not doing the best job of showing yet but it's pretty trust me it's pretty and next move on to sweet treats I got a few little sweetie things because I love sweets this M&M kind of selection box thing it's got Milky Way Maltesers Twix Mars Bar M&M's peanut M&M's basically there's that and a big massive bag of heroes and again it's got eclairs fudge whispers dairy milk caramel twirl and cream egg so got that yeah I can't go wrong with chocolate and talking about chocolate this is the last of the sweet treats this I got for my brother this is says Hotel Hotel Chocolat, I think is the name of it. I'm going to show you it here like this. So that, in case I'm not pronouncing it right, but I think it's Hotel Chocolat. I would like to show you the chocolates that are in, <laughs> that were in this because they were really very pretty and ornate. But unfortunately, one sole little chocolate at the bottom has survived. They were all like different shapes of Christmas trees and all sorts of things. I'm just going to tell you, even though they're empty, I wanted to tell you about them because they are so nice and if you've never tried them before and you get the chance to try them, you should try them. They are so lovely. My brother was saying he buys them quite a lot. He lives in London. He gets these quite a lot. He didn't buy these in London. You can get them here. But they're lovely and they bring out things. This is their Christmas range and they bring out ones for like all different seasons, fruity ones for the summer and all that. And they are, I'm so excited about trying those. They're lovely. I don't like chocolates like liqueurs and things with like alcohol and stuff in them. I don't like that strong taste or like really overly truffly type stuff that is not that these are just delicious chocolate they're just they're really different really different to like your mars and stuff like that they're just they're lovely they're like a fancy like a bougie chocolate but they taste really really nice so if you get the chance to try them you should try them because they're nice so there's that and oh i've got a little bundle at the side of me this these are my new favorite jammies i think i'm actually wearing jammies right now as i'm filming this sorry about that um, I could probably get away with that as being a sweatshirt maybe I don't know I think the stars kind of give it away as jammies I don't know I'm wearing jammies anyway these I love them it says boyfriend flannel pajamas I love these I absolutely love flannel used to have flannel sheets love them I just I need flannel sheets again let's just put that in my head there I'm going to get some flannel sheets these are flannel pajamas they've got just roses all over them that kind of antique feel to them I love them I love the style of them I just love the pattern on them I just love them I really really like these and I got socks to match them so the little antique rose socks to match them and these also come with like plain ones on the back like the pink with the cream toes so I absolutely just love them and another pair of jammies I got were these mini mouse jammies these are the squishy fleecy ones and it's got mini mouse I thought that was quite an unusual pattern to have like you know like the antique kind of this is like a china plate, you know what I'm talking about, like that kind of blue and white porcelain type thing. Quite an unusual pattern to have with Minnie Mouse, usually Minnie Mouse is more sort of modern-y, but look, flowery with the Minnie Mouse, I love it. It's grey with the blue and cream bottoms, I just absolutely love them and they're so squishy and cosy, so love them. I think we are on to the last bag, let me see, that is too high up. Let me put it down here, now I'm going to show you the shoes. Oh my goodness, I love these shoes. I love these shoes. Like, I, I just love these shoes. Just, these are BCBG. I just, 
I'm just in love with them. I'll put one down so I can show you just them in detail. They've got this ankle strap, this sort of T-bar thing, just a whole load of straps going on basically. Just, I love them. They're not too high a heel. Like, if you look at that heel, I think that's maybe like three and a half inches or it's not four, it's definitely not a four inch heel. So they're not too high, you know what I mean? They're not like crazy teetery high, but they're just so lovely and they're in this gorgeous nude colour that's going to go with everything and they've got silver studs all over them and I just absolutely love them. They fasten with like two straps at the side and I am just absolutely in love with them and they fit me perfectly so loving these and cannot wait to wear these maybe I don't know if I ever go on a night out or anything I will wear them. I'm set. I might not be going anywhere but if I do I'm set. I've got the shoes at least. In fact just looking at my wardrobe right now these might go nicely with, do you remember that dress I got from Primark, the velvety one? I wonder if these would go with that, I'm not sure. That would be a nice outfit. And I'm rambling. Anyway, oh, more fluffy socks. These are little fox ones, little fluffy socks, little fox faces like that. Super soft and cosy, love them. Probably going to get stolen by my daughter. She did get fluffy socks and she will wear them and then she will still steal mine. Don't know why got this little checked skirt, it's like a little mini skirt type thing, it is, I'm really bad at telling navy blue and black, I'm going to say navy blue, no I'm going to say black, does it say on it, does it say, navy it says navy, I was right the first name, navy blue with red and white checks like this, it's just cute, little zips at the front, it's just very cute, I like it, I think that'll look nice with like a pair of knee high boots, tights and a big cosy jumper. And this I got, you're not going to be able to see what this is. Hold on, I'll open it for you and you can, and I'll show you. I'm going to see if it's got the name of it on. This is called, a, this is a massage bar. It's from Lush and it's called, I can't get the name of it. It's, the name is like all squished up on the thing, but I'll open it and show you what it is. The smell of this is unbelievable. Like, if you like Lush, sorry that they're rustling to open this. If you like Lush and you have ever smelled, they are, Honey, I wash the kids' soap. It's like a really honey, oh, it's just the most comforting, nicest smell I have ever. It's probably my favourite smell in the entire world. Like if I had to pick one smell to smell of or smell for the rest of my life, it would be that because it's not too overpowering. It makes me feel comforted. I love it. This is that soap, but in a massage bar. It is absolutely gorgeous. It comes in a little love heart like this. And oh, honestly, even if you don't like, like, just go in and smell this. Just give it a smell or the Honey I Wash The Kids soap because the smell is unbelievable. This is a massage bar, so like when you rub it, in case you don't know what a massage bar is, like when you rub it like that, if somebody was giving you a massage and they rubbed it on you like that, it's kind of oily and so, you know, like you can massage. I tend to use this as like a perfume because I don't like strong perfumes. So I kind of rub it on my wrist like this. It's a little bit oily. I give it, oh, I love it. I put this on going to bed so that I can like lie in bed and smell this at night time. I sometimes put it on during the day as well, but I usually always put it on at night time and it's just the most comforting, lovely smell. I love it. So got that. Another notebook. It is like brown paper with gold love hearts on it. Just lined notebook. Love it. Can't have enough of them. Go through them like crazy. Let me see what else we've got. I got a little coin purse that's like little chocolate coins inside and then it's like the little old fashioned style coin purse like that, just little plasticky one. Just cute little stocking filler, got that. And from Lush as well, I think this is the last thing from Lush, I got the tea tree water, the toner water. I've talked about this in another video, I absolutely love it, really like that, so got a bottle of that. And let me see, right. Oh my goodness. Okay. This I got, I have never heard of this before. Mark was telling me a little bit about it and it came with a little leaflet which I have very quickly looked over. Again, if I like this, I'll probably put it in a favourites video. It is Lion's Leaf and it's a 100% natural body and face gift set. So their products are 100% natural. And the thing I was reading about this product, which was different to other products is, these are like cruelty free and all natural and stuff like that, which is great. And apparently all their like products are homegrown and stuff, which is absolutely fantastic. 
but there's no water like water is not one of the ingredients in them you know like water is usually the first ingredient which makes their products super super concentrated which means although you're only getting like tiny little jars like that they are really really concentrated because they do not contain water which means you only need a tiny little bit so i am really excited about trying this and if i like it like i said i'll probably put it in my favorites and let you know what i think about it i think in here let me see what does it come with um it says Beauty Balm Moisturiser and Cleanser, so you can use it as a moisturiser and a cleanser and it also comes with body butter, you get one muslin face cloth and a cotton flannel. So I am just really, really, really excited about that and it says oil cleansing and instructions and information, so how to use it as like a, cle a cleanser, yeah. It looks like that. I am very excited. Sorry about the glare. I am very, very excited about trying this, so I will let you know what I think of it. We're nearly done. We are nearly done. And the next thing was this. It is a votives candle set. It looks like this. You get six in the set. These two here are snow pear and cedar wood. The two in the middle are cashmere wood, the what, cashmere woods, and the other ones are fig noir and amber. And I don't know, I don't know what, what one of these I'm smelling, or if it's a mixture of all of them. I've not actually taken them out the box, but something in there smells really, really nice like really really lovely so I'm excited about using those because they smell lovely right through the box so like them and next thing I'm going to take them out of the bag now too because it's all like little things to see me having to duck down like that all the time hold on right we're getting there hold on okay sorry I've just dropped everything in every direction stuff down here and stuff in here and stuff off my knee. <sighs> I'm not good at this. Right, we're organised, let's get going. I could have just been quiet and edited that bit out, but never mind, we're just going to keep going. Okay, so next thing is, let me see, these little nail files like this with a little rose design on them like that. Little nail files, handy to have. And the next load of stuff is Elf. Now Elf is a cruelty free product, They're, they do not test them animals which I absolutely love and so I got a whole load of makeup, well, not a whole load, I got some makeup pieces from Elf. I have never tried anything by Elf before so I'm excited about giving this a go and seeing if I like it and like I said if I like it or I like some of the stuff I will put them in a favourites and let you know what I've been liking. So let me see, let's start off with this elf eyeshadow palette it's matte it says mad for matte and it's an eyeshadow palette looks like this wait and we will open it and i'll give you a little look at it these products i actually picked myself like i went on the website and picked myself let me see and mark ordered them for me so this one looks like this i'll just hide the mirror so i don't blind you it's just get very like natural colours in it going all the way up to sort of a charcoal grey black type colour so you've got your very pale this one here I'm excited about trying it's like a pinky peachy colour then your browns and your dark well I'll show you it closer up so it's all like kind of browns and stuff and dark browns they're all matte I thought it was a good variety of colours and again it's cruelty free so I'm really really excited about trying that and seeing if it's any good and next thing is that's the thing about I'm noticing a lot of, there's a, there is a lot more cruelty free products out there. I'm noticing that it's not too, too hard to find cruelty free products, but it would be good to find a brand that you really like and then you just know, you you know, you can keep repurchasing stuff and you know that there's stuff that you like, so that's what I'm kind of looking for. This is the e.l.f. High HD Powder, so High Definition Corrective Yellow. They had this in white, they had it in corrective yellow and they had it in a kind of pinky colour as well. It's basically just... It's like finishing powder kind of thing and it is in this yellowy colour like this. I don't know if you can see if I open it. Yeah, not really going to see it. It's quite bright yellow actually. Like, look at it on the sponge. Look at that. that is pretty. It is so glary. That is pretty bright yellow powder right there. I'm excited about trying it. It feels nice and soft and stuff, but obviously you're not going to know until you put it on your face. So I'm going to give that a go. And next thing is, let me see, this is the lip definer and shaper. You get it's like a double-ended pencil, like a chunky kind of pencil. It's double-ended. It's got, let me see, natural and then nude. I'll take it out and show you. I know some people are into makeup and some people not so much, but for those of you that want a wee look at it, I'll show you. It also comes with the 
little sharpener thing on it there like that. This is the Natural Define and it's in a pale kind of nude colour like that. I do a little swatch, like a nude type colour like that. And the other one is, oh that's very light, okay. Kind of like a highlighter type thing, like I don't even know if you're going to see that, see it there? It's like shimmery kind of highlighter type thing. I'll need to have a play about with that and see what I think of it. So, got that. And this, I have never, this is a mineral infused face primer and it is in the shade Clear. I have never in my entire life used a primer, like, ever. I don't know, maybe you could tell that. I don't know. I'm not an expert at putting makeup on, nor do I use, like, a million products and primer for this and under eye this. And I really use very, very minimum products, really. But I have heard a lot of people saying like if you put a primer on your makeup goes on really nice after it and stuff so I was sorry about the glare I was I thought I would give it a go so I picked this one up and I'm gonna give it a go and see what I think of it but I don't really have anything to compare it to because I've never used a primer but we'll see if my makeup goes on any nicer with that so got that next thing is this this is by the brand BWC and it's full volume natural mascara maximum length and thickness um, again, Mark ordered this online. It's in the colour black. It looks like it's in a box like this. Where's the brand? Let me show you the brand. Like this. I have never heard of this, but it is natural. I had a little look at it in the packet. Again, you can't really tell with these things until you try them. It is natural, cruelty free. I had a little look at the wand and I like the look of it. It looks like it's going to be a good one. Like nice and thick and loads and loads and loads and loads of bristles. So it looks like it'll be good. It doesn't look too like the Consistency doesn't look too runny or too thick, but again, until you've tried it on your actual eyelashes, you don't actually know. So I will give that a go. And are we done? Are we done? We've got three lip products left. This is Seductive Lipstick and this is in the shade... No, this is lipstick in the shade Seductive and again, it's by e.l.f. So it is cruelty free. Wait, no, I'm going to take it out of the package and show you what it looks like. I obviously haven't had a little play with this because they haven't even been out the packet oh that's nice it's darker than i thought it was going to be it looks darker in real life and it because there's like a light glaring right on it it's making it look lighter so it looks more pink on camera but it's actually slightly darker in real life i'll do a little swatch and show you oh it does come up kind of pink on your hand so that is it there like that you can see my little hairy arms and hairy hands <laughs> like a little bear look so it's kind of pink like pinky kind of tone i like that i think that is nice that is a nice color i like that excited about trying that let me see what else have we got we have the jumbo lip gloss stick it looks like this i will take it out the packaging so it doesn't glare and i can show you it this one's not going to come out so easily is it nope oh. we'll just rip it open there we go like a, one of those lip crayon things it actually looks like it's concealer or something like or foundation it's got that kind of foundation -y concealer type color to it i'm not sure how this is going to go let me see oh okay it is very nude i don't even know if this is going to come up on camera hold on and i will get closer like that is it there that is extremely nude like extremely again it does kind of look like concealer i'm not sure that might be a little bit too nude maybe it'll be nice on maybe with a lip liner that would be a, like a nice kind of nude lip but it is very very nude so that is that and <sighs> very last product let me see this is the lip kiss balm and this is in this color bear kiss so this is not meant to be overly pigmented it's literally just a slightly tinted balm so you're not going to get an awful lot of color off this i wouldn't think it looks quite dark in the tube it looks like that kind of similar to the lipstick actually in color i'm kind of attracted to that color but again i don't think you're going to get an awful lot of well actually you get more color off of that than i thought you would get considering it is a balm this is a balm so i was thinking more like a lip conditioner type thing i did not think i thought it was going to be quite sheer i didn't think you were going to get a lot of color off it but in actual i've just put that in the most awkward part of my hand that i literally have to like dislocate my hand in order to show you the color I'm not good at this makeup thing hold on let me see right where, <laughs> where am I? I, don't, I don't even know where it is okay here that is it there. That's quite a lot of colour for a balm, don't you think? Like, that is quite a colour payoff for a balm. I quite like that. It 
is a very similar colour there to that lipstick. That li the lipstick's maybe like a little bit brighter, but quite a similar colour. You can see what sort of colours I'm attracted to. Okay, I think we're done. Are we done? Are we done? We're not done. I forgot something. Did I forget anything else? If I forget anything else, I will add it on at the end. Forgot this. This is a lovely little hot chocolate set. It says eat, drink and be cosy on the mug. It comes with double hot chocolate mix and a lovely cute little hot water bottle that is in a little knitted sort of jumper with a heart on it. And I absolutely love that. And I love the saying on the cup, cup eat, drink and be cosy. I just love that. So that was the last thing I got. It was sneaking away in the corner there. <sighs> And take a breath, we're done. How many minutes? Oh my goodness, 30 minutes. This is a long video. I do apologise for taking up so much of your time. If you have actually stuck around to the end, thank you so, so much. And again, I hope you had a fantastic Christmas and I hope you have an absolutely fantastic new year. We won't be doing anything for new year, I think. No, like, wild parties or anything. I don't think we're doing very much. I think we'll maybe, like, just have a movie night or something with the kids. So that is me done. Again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sticking to the end. And for a 30 odd minute long video, I am sorry. I apologise.